फ्रेंड्स गुड मॉर्निंग टू ऑल ऑफ यू आई एम सोनू जांगडा फैकल्टी इन फिजिक्स उज्जवल कोचिंग कैंपस वेलकम्स यू अगेन इन अवर यूट्यूब चैनल टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस वन ऑफ द एजिस्ट टॉपिक इन द करंट इलेक्ट्रिसिटी सी बी एस ई ट्वेल्थ क्लास टॉपिक इच विट स्टोन ब्रिज ओके द टॉपिक इज वेरी सिंपल एज यू ऑल नो एंड यू ऑल ऑफ यू नो दैट वट इज द कंडीशन फॉर विट स्टोन ब्रिज बट इन दिस वीडियो वी आर नॉट गोइंग टू डिस्कस हाउ विट स्टोन ब्रिज इज बैलेंस एंड वट आर देयर कंडीशन एंड वैन डिड द विट स्टोन ब्रिज इज बैलेंस्ड मोस्ट एक्यूरेटली और एट वट वे लूज द विट स्टोन ब्रिज इज मोस्ट सेंसिटिव ऑल दीज क्वेश्चन आर डन बाई यू अकॉर्डिंग टू योर सिलेबस बट today one of the uh, one of the important problem which is uh, faced during the solution of the series and parallel combination of combination of resistance then sometime wheatstone bridge principle is not used or it is not applied because wheatstone bridge is applied on the sum of the limited conditions okay and all of you know that the condition of wheatstone bridge are given by such that p by q is equal to r by s if these conditions are followed by the wheatstone bridge then you can easily solve the problems of series and parallel combinations somewhere the wheatstone bridge is possible okay but but what in this video we are going to discuss when there is no wheatstone bridge is balance in the series and parallel combination then what we will do for this that problem for that type of particular problem we are going to learn a important or basic trick to solve the problems of wheatstone unbalanced condition okay so first of all <coughs> i'm writing here the original situation where a wheatstone bridge is balanced that is p by q that is equal to r by s right here again you can see it uh, accurately okay now what is the wheatstone bridge the diagram for wheatstone bridge is that four resistances are arranged in such a way then they are formed like a bridge and consider that this resistance is p this is q this is r and this is s and you have to find the net resistance between point a and b these are the two points a and b point a and b are the point in between we have to find out the net resistance or equivalent resistance of the given network so for this type of condition this type of problems uh, we can see here if the ratio of p and q if ratio of p and q is equal to the ratio of r and s p and q and r s is equal then the wheatstone bridge is balanced and the resistance is written here that is the galvanometer resistance or resistance is uh, uh, connected between point c and d is not calculated or not uh, concerned not calculated in the problem or it is neglected okay why it is neglected you know that the point c and point d are at the same potential in these type of problems these two points are at the same potential that's why due to the same potential the potential difference between these two point is reduced to zero and uh, where the potential difference is zero there will be no current accordingly to the ohms law okay so this resistance is not used but but what in this problem if i change the question then first uh, we will do a question okay now uh, the values are given that values are given that 2 that is equal to 2 that is equal to 2 and that is equal to 2 if all the resistances are equal in value and this resistance is uh, taken any values like 3 ohm okay so is this 
bridge is balanced or not yes this bridge is balanced and this bridge is the most sensitive because when all the resistance are the equal value then the bridge is most sensitive or bridge is most balanced okay so the ratio p and q that is equal to 2 by 2 that is equal to 2 by 2 that is equal to 1 is equal to 1 it means that this bridge is balanced and you can easily neglect the resistance is connected between point c and d so what is the answer of this question if this resistance is neglected here then the question is very easy these two resistance of each of two ohm are connected in series combination and similarly these two resistance each of value two resist two ohm are also connected in series combination so above the upper resistance gives the value 4 ohm and the lower resistance also gives the value 4 ohm these two resistance are connected in parallel to each other and you have to find out the values of resistance between a and b and the net resistance is equal to parallel combination 1 by r equivalent is equal to 1 by r1 that is equal to 4 plus 1 by r2 that is equal to 4 that is equal to LCM is taken as 4 that is 2 by 4 that is equal to 1 by 2 and R equivalent is equal to 2 ohm. So these problems can be solved by this method. It is very easy method. Uh, you can uh, you can concern that uh, the bridge is balanced or not. Apply the condition of Wheatstone bridge P by Q is equal to R by S and you can easily neglect the resistance connected between point C and D and you can easily solve this problem like that okay but uh, what is the main problem here if i change the question a little bit if i ask you you how to find out the out the net resistance between point c and d then what we what will you do if you have to find out the net resistance between point c and d and there will be a resistance of 3 ohm connected in between point c and d then what is your method of solving this problem is the answer is same or there is any change in the answer so okay in this problem if we have to find out the net resistance between point c and d then the wheatstone bridge is balanced but but the resistance connected between point c and d is not neglected what is this it is the condition of wheatstone bridge if resistance between C and D takes any value while the bridge is balanced it can be neglected but in this question I can say that this resistance cannot be neglected while the Wheatstone bridge is balanced it is the most sensitive condition 2 2 and 2 and 2 ohms that is 1 is equal to 1 so Wheatstone bridge is balanced but we cannot neglect the resistance 3 ohm so why how can we solve this problem because the potential of point c is not equal to potential of point d so that's why if two points have different potential then there will be no zero potential difference between these two points so this resistance cannot be neglected so it can be calculated in the problem so how can you solve it it is very easy if we find out the resistance between point C and D, then these two resistance, each of two ohm are connected in series combination. These two resistance, each of two ohm are also connected in series combination. And these two resistance are connected with three ohm resistance in parallel combination. Okay, so let's solve it. Now, this is your point C, this is point your D now this is a resistance of 3 ohm connected here and these are the two resistance combination that is equal to 4 ohm and again here there are two resistance connected in series that is equal to 4 ohm so now this diagram is very easy to show the problem that resistance 4 ohm 3 ohm and 4 ohm are connected in parallel okay so now how can you solve the problem in parallel combination what is your formula 1 by r equivalent is equal to 1 by 4 plus 1 by 4 plus 1 by 3 so what is your lcm lcm is equal to that is 12 okay now it is 3 plus 3 plus 4 that is equal to 10 by 
12 that is equal to r2 is r e is equal to 12 by 10 that is equal to 1 by 2 ohm so the net resistance between point c and d in this question is 1.2 ohm so these two problems are different in the first problem we find out the resistance between point a and b we can easily apply the condition for Wheatstone bridge and you have to find out the answer easily by neglecting the resistance 3 ohm but in this question if we find out the resistance between point c and d if the data are same while we cannot neglect the resistance 3 ohm until uh, while the Wheatstone bridge is balanced condition because in this condition the point have not same potential difference and that's why the current is flowing in the 3 ohm resistance so we cannot neglect it and you can count this resistance also and you have to solve this problem by this method and the answer in both the case is different in this problem answer is 2 ohm in this problem answer is 1.2 ohm so this is the simple thing how can you face the problems in the Wheatstone bridge principle in the last exam uh, last board exam in HBSC uh, this question this type of question was asked because some students face the problem like this they can solve the problem by using Wheatstone but there is no Wheatstone bridge is applied because the potential between two points is not same that's why they cannot neglect the resistance and they can solve <coughs> this problem like this okay now now what is the main problem main question uh, asked in the education uh, higher education or higher uh, exams like uh, iit j and uh, mainly in neat exam what is the change here if i change the value of p q r and s such that the balance condition is not satisfied and after that you have to find the resistance between point c and d then you can easily apply the same method is there any problem in this question if the Wheatstone bridge is balanced or not balanced doesn't matter if balance or doesn't uh, not balance doesn't matter or what is the value of resistance between C and D doesn't matter you can solve this problem easily by using this method if this resistance is 2 ohm if this resistance is 4 ohm then the combination is 6 ohm this resistance is 3 ohm this resistance is 7 ohm the combination is 10 ohm and if this resistance takes any value all these resistance are in parallel combination and after that simple mathematical calculations you can solve the problems but the main question is that main question is that if Wheatstone bridge is not balanced and you have to find out the value of equivalent resistance between point A and B then in that case you cannot neglect the resistance 3 ohm because 3 ohm resistance is, is neglected only when the bridge, bala bridge is balanced but if bridge is not balanced and you have to find the resistance between A and B then, can, then you cannot use this, uh, this formula or this method then how can you solve that problem so now uh, we will take some another example to face these type of problems or deal with the problems like this okay so now what is the method to solve the problems like that i can change now change the value this is 2 ohm this is 3 ohm and this is 3 ohm and this is 2 ohm and this is also 2 ohm now the bridge is bridge is not balanced you can see that 2 by 3 that is equal to 3 by 2 2 by 3 is not equal to 3 by 2 so this bridge is not balanced condition so we cannot neglect the value of 2 resistance 2 ohm so now we have to find the net resistance between A and B then what we will do for that ok this problem is not solved by that these 2 ohm and 3 ohm are in series combination no these 2 ohm and 3 ohm resistance are not in series combination these 3 ohm and 2 ohm are not in series combination because this 2 ohm resistance is still there it is not neglected so this problem is difficult to solve so for this problem this type of problem we have to use a trick a simple trick then the trick is 
आई एम राइटिंग हेयर डेल्टा ओके डेल्टा वट डज इट मीन डेल्टा वाई डब्ल्यू वाई ई नेटवर्क डेल्टा वाई नेटवर्क इट इज ए ट्रिक टू सोल्व दिस टाइप ऑफ प्रॉब्लम डेल्टा वाई नेटवर्क वट वट डज इट मीन डेल्टा डेल्टा इज मी डेल्टा मीन्स ए ट्राइंगुलर शेप ओके इट इज द शेप शेप ऑक्युपाइड बाई द क्ले near the bank or uh, near a river uh, it is called as delta in the geography or oh, what uh, <coughs> what are you think about delta is simply a triangular shape uh, uh, shape okay now there is a shape like this triangle okay this is a triangular like like shape and i put here three resistance one is here one is here and another one is here all these three sides of the triangle are consider as three resistances this is point a point b and point c these are the three vertices of the triangle and this is called your delta okay now 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 what is the value of this resistance this resistance is calculated or this resistance is uh, called acr okay resistance between a and c is, is consider as rac the resistance between point c and b is considered as rcb royal challengers bangalore okay now a and b the resistance is rab ab de villiers okay so now there are three resistance are considered as the three side of a triangle in this question also there are three resistance are take the shape of like triangular in in this type of shapes so if we change this triangular shape into the another type of shape then you can easily solve the problem so now if i convert this triangular shape into a y network it means a shape like y this is a y network it means if three resistance are like shape as y in the english alphabet it is called y network w y e means y network okay so what is y this is point a this is point b this is point c if all these points are connected the point a b and c in the triangular triangular shape then the triangular shape is convert into y network it means that if i place this y network in this place as delta uh, network then you can easily neglect these three resistance in place of these three resistance you can take the value of these resistance okay the answer is same there is no change in the answer and you can easily solve this type of problems okay we will take an example to solve this type of problems we can solve this problem by using this delta and y network okay now name the resistance this resistance is called as ra this resistance is called as rb and this resistance is called as rc if you have to know about these values then easily you can calculate the value of r b a and c okay if you have the values of r a r b and r c then you can convert easily this y network into delta network and you can find out the values of r a b r a c and r c b by using these values easily okay how you can apply this network problem or network uh, method in this type of problems you can take a look here now what is the formula for first we will draw the diagram again this is your resistance of 2 ohm okay this is your resistance of 3 ohm this is your resistance of 2 ohm this is your point b this is your resistance of 2 ohm and this is your resistance of 3 ohm and this is your point a and this is your point c and d now you cannot solve this problem this uh, diagram this equivalent resistance because the wheatstone bridge is not balanced so now you can change this triangular network this delta network into y network or either you can change this triangular or delta network into y network 
वाट एवर यू वॉन्ट टू डू वाट एवर यू वॉन्ट टू चूज वन ऑफ द डेल्टा नेटवर्क इन टू वाई नेटवर्क ओके एंड यू कैन इजली सोल्व द प्रॉब्लम सो वी कैन फर्स्ट वी कैन चेंज दिस डेल्टा नेटवर्क इन टू वाई नेटवर्क एंड सोल्व द प्रॉब्लम एंड आफ्टर दैट यू टेक अदर मेथड एंड अदर चांस टू टेक दिस डेल्टा नेटवर्क टू कन्वर्ट इट इन टू वाई नेटवर्क एंड सोल्व द प्रॉब्लम बोथ द प्रॉब्लम्स हैव द सेम आंसर ओके नाउ फर्स्टली I will write here a delta, okay? This is delta, and I will convert it into a Y network. So Y network is that this is a resistance, this is your resistance C, and this is your resistance D. Okay? There are three resistance. The names of the triangle is A, D, and C. It means A, D, and C. You can change the B as D. Okay? Now convert B as D, B as D, and B as D. and b as d and b as d so you can change this delta this delta into this y network okay so delta network is a and c a and c that is equal to this resistance is r ac this is resistance is r cd this resistance is r ac you can neglect these three resistance and convert it into the y network so first we can count the Values of resistance R C, R A and R D. After that, we can uh, uh, neglect these resistance, these three resistance of delta shape. Okay. So what is the formula? This is the important part here. How can you solve the values of R A, R B and R C? So now for the to convert the delta delta transform delta network into Y network. So you have to find firstly the value of R A. so what is the value of ra ra that is equal to it means ra is here ra is here so to find out the value of ra you can multiply the resistance which are on either side of a a can divided these two resistance in between so multiply these two resistance okay rad into rac multiply these two resistance in the numerator okay and what is in the denominator in denominator multiply each resistance by one another okay so multiply rac by rad rac by rad plus multiply rad by rcd rad by rcd plus multiply rcd by rac rcd by rac multiply each resistance to each other so there are three uh, times one this multiply by this this multiply by this and this multiply by this okay so multiply each other one time and uh, add them okay this is written in the denominator okay and the multiply the two resistance which are on either side of a are multiply are put in the numerator okay for rb similarly for rb the numerator is remains same sorry the denominator is remains same r ac r ad plus r ad r cd plus r cd r ac what is the value on the numerator numerator is that rb for rb where is the rb so rb is change at rd okay so for rd you can multiply the resistance on either side of d that is equal to r ad into r cd and for rc this resistance rc so you have to multiply the resistance or are on either side r ac into r c d upon numerator and denominator is remain same r a c r a d plus r a d r c d plus r c d or r a c in three equation in these three formula denominator remain same and the numerator values are written by uh, <coughs> by multiplying uh, resistance on either side of the given resistance which have to find out okay now apply the same formula in this case this is your resistance r a this is your resistance r d and this is your resistance r c so how can you find out the value of r a r a is equal to 
R A is equal to multiply the resistance on either side that is equal to 3 into 2. So 3 into 2 that is equal to 6 upon multiply each resistance to each other that is equal to 2 into 2 that is equal to 4 plus 2 into 3 that is equal to 6 plus 3 into 2 that is equal to 6. So answer of R A is equal to 6 upon 16 ohm that is equal to 6 upon 16 ohm. So this is the value of resistance R A. Now, what is the value of Rb? What is the value of Rb? Rb that is equal to Rb change as Rd. Okay. So, what is the value of Rd? Multiply these two resistance that is equal to 3 into 2 that is equal to 6 upon sum of the all the resistance multiply to each other one time. So, that is same 4 plus 6 plus 6 that is equal to uh, 16. That is again equal to 6 by 16 ohm. Now, third is that what is the value of resistance RC that is equal to multiply these two resistance on either side of C that is equal to 4 upon the same that is equal to 16 that is equal to 1 by 4 ohm. Okay, 6 by 16 is again that is equal to 3 by 8 ohm. Okay, that is equal to again 3 by 8 ohm. Okay, now these are the three resistance are converted as delta to y network okay so now i can rub these three resistance r a b r a c r a d okay now this is your network to be formed and it is very easy question these two resistance are looks in the series combination these two resistance are also looks like in the series combination and these two resistance are looks like in parallel combination and along with this resistance in the series combination so you can solve the problem okay now what is the value of resistance that is equal to what is this value r okay what is the value of this resistance R A. R A is 3 by 8 ohm. So this is 3 by 8 ohm. What is the value of R C? R C is 1 by 4 ohm. That is equal to 1 by 4 ohm. And what is the value of R D? So R D is same as 3 by 8 ohm. So this is 3 by 8, 3 by 8, 1 by 4, 3 and 2. Now these two resistance are in series combination. So what is the net resistance, net value of this resistance? I can write here as a okay i can write here uh, resistance is that uh, one uh, r is equal to one by four plus three that is equal to r1 so take lcm that is equal to four plus one plus twelve that is equal to 13 by 4 ohm so this resistance the combination of these two resistance is equal to 13 by 4 resistance now combination of these two resistance that is equal to R2 that is equal to 3 by 8 plus 2 that is equal to 3 plus 16 by 8 that is equal to 9 by 8 ohm. The combination of these two resistance is equal to 19 by 8 ohm. Now these two resistance are again connected in parallel. So what is the formula for parallel combination? That is equal to 1 by R12 that is equal to R1 is this resistance, R2 is this resistance combination of these two resistance is considered as R12 and these are both resistance are in parallel combination. So the formula is 1 by R12 is equal to 1 by 13 by 4 that is equal to 13 4 by 13 plus 8 by 19. Solve this problem 13 and 19 is the LCM and now it is 76 plus that is equal to 104. Okay. Now the answer is 0 104 180 upon 13 into 19 that is equal to r12 this is your net resistance of these two series uh, parallel combinations now this resistance is again in series combination with resistance 3 by 8 so now i can write here the net resistance is equal to r equivalent is equal to 3 by 8 plus the sum is r by 2 that is equal to 1 by R2 sorry this is reciprocal 13 into 19 upon 180 is the net resistance so put this value in this equation that is equal to 13 into 19 upon 180 okay 
now you can easily solve this relation easily solve this formula uh, take lcm and show the results this is the net resistance between the point a and b for uh, the condition where wheatstone bridge is not uh, satisfied okay wheatstone bridge is not balanced if uh, in the another way i can change this delta this delta in the y network then these three resistance are changed and there are new three resistance are generated and these resistance are removed and again these two resistance are in series combination and these two resistance are in parallel combination to each other and along with they are in the series combination with the last resistance find here and you got the same answer so it is your homework that you can solve this result you can solve this result uh, uh, also this result and again you can apply the star and delta network on the uh, next triangle next delta and you can solve the problem so these are the formula to find out the uh, values of y network if you have uh, the delta network in the next video uh, we will do uh, some uh, question important application important examples uh, which uh, are solved by this delta and y network and uh, again you can change y network into delta network uh, uh, there are three different formulas are generated again these three formulas are only for to convert delta into y network in the next video we are going to discuss how can you convert it a y network into delta network it, it means that if you have a value of r a resistance how can you convert the value R A into R A C, R C D and R A D. Okay, so I hope you get this uh, knowledge point of view. For your knowledge point of view, I can discuss this problem. Uh, you can easily solve the problem where Wheatstone bridge is not balanced.